Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. It is the video that you have all been waiting for, Maggie's birth. So here it is. So we have been keeping an eye on her temperature for the last week. This morning it did drop a little bit, but we checked her temperature about 15 minutes ago. It has dropped to 35.1. So she's also um, started nesting about three days ago. Um, so we knew that it was kind of coming into when she was going to give birth, but, um, we didn't, we thought it would either be tonight or tomorrow night. We are like 80% sure it's going to be tonight. Um, so we thought we'd start filming, but she's also started shivering, which is early signs of labor. So, um, they do say that from the early signs of labor, it's about four to 24 hours. Uh, so we have turned on the heat lamp just there so that it starts heating up because we think puppies are coming. Uh, so we thought we would get that heated, get it ready so that when puppies come, it's already warm. But Maggie is just resting. <laughs> she was just panting a couple of minutes ago, but she's just resting now. So it's just a bit of a waiting game. So we will keep you guys updated um, as we go. So stay tuned. Mama has started panting again. She's very restless, up and down. Ah, uh, she just can't get comfy. So we're just gonna remove the bars um, so that it's easy access for when she does start to go into labor. So that's the great thing about these welcome boxes from Pet Network is that you can actually take the tops off and remove the size that you want. So you can make it different heights. We'll probably take two out just to make it nice and easy to lean over to little Maggie here. And I'll remove both sides so that me and mum can easily get into her. So these, we actually have loved this whelping box so far and she hasn't even given birth. This is the best whelping box. Um, and yeah, we love that you can adjust it. So all the sides are like that. You can adjust any side. Um, they come with the um, pig rails as well. So you don't have to worry about making your own or getting your own. Hi, baby. She's just puffing at the moment. So... We've got that already. Um, I've just changed all the puppy pads. They're probably gonna get changed quite a few times tonight. Um, we will remove her bed closer to once we start to see that she's gonna start giving birth, um, just to get that out of the way. And we'll pop another puppy pad down in that square. Um, we've got four puppy pads. Then we've got towels underneath. And then we've got, I'll grab them and show you. So we got these off Amazon and they are great. So two of these, they are waterproof as well. So they're not going to leak through to the carpet, but two of these go perfectly side by side in the welcome box. So these are also amazing. So if you are having a litter of puppies or upcoming litter of puppies, um, I would suggest you get these off Amazon. They are amazing. And we will put all the links to anything that we suggest um, down below. So if you are looking for anything that we have shown on this video, um, just go down into the description and you'll find all the links there. But as well, none of this is paid promotion. This is just what we have preferred and what we've liked so far. But I've just done the trolley as well. Let me move these out of the way. So you guys can see. I'll just pop these back on as well. And I'll pop that over there. So I've just done, we organized the trolley ages ago, but I've just kind of like taken everything out now. So tail wrap, um, I'll show you. We brought two lots, pink and purple, nice and fashionable. <laughs> Um, I'll show you the brand. So we got 
These are Wrap It brand, um, cohesive non-woven bandage. And that way we can just wrap her tail up, get it out of the way um, so it's not in the way when puppies start coming. But I've already undone the pink one. That's all we're going to use today. Again, all the links will be in the description. And I've also just taken out a little nasal aspirator thing in case we need to clear their chests. So I've popped that. We got all of these at Kmart. So these are fantastic and they help us to organize the trolley. So we got little ones with lids. And then also the tray one. So this is what we'll be using. And it's just out on display. So it makes everything easier. We've got some gauze pads. And then we've got our hemostats. If I can pick them up. We've got our hemostats so that we can clamp the cord before cutting it. And then we've obviously got like your normal stuff. Um, like sanitizer, betadine. And these are amazing if i can suggest anything these travel water bottles are so good we got ours from target or kmart both sell them i know but they are so good so we take these everywhere with us like in the car i leave one next to my bed for um jazz to have water because she wakes up through the night but also they have been so good for during this time where she can't be bothered leaving the welcome box um you can just give her some water we've got some gumballs <laughs> um to apply the betadine and then we've got some scented bags just in case we need to chuck anything in we've got our gloves and we've got our dental wipes and puppy pads and then we also have some face washer size towels, some normal size towels, and then some hand towels as well. So we are very prepared, but I thought I would just show you that while I was doing all of this. But I'm going to wrap a towel up in a minute, which we'll show you, but that is it for now. She's still clearly panting. We're not giving birth just yet, but we will be back soon and we'll keep you guys updated on this journey. So just giving her some water. Like I said, these travel water bottles are amazing because she just cannot be bothered moving right now so I can bring the water to her. Hey, Mama. <laughs> and then you just tip it up, hold the button, and it all goes back in. So I've changed my camp out position. <laughs> So I'm on the couch. Maggie is just over there so I can see her. My bedroom is literally next door anyway, but um, I thought I would just stay in the room with her so that I can keep an eye on her. So I got my pillow, I got this comfy couch, and I got a blanket. <laughs> I'm good. So I'm just going to get some rest. Well, we wait for Maggie to progress a little bit further. So she was looking at me from the welcome box <laughs> and I just knew she wanted to come up to me so she jumped out of the welcome box and then I picked her up and she's got comfy but it is the weirdest feeling because every part of my body that is touching her stomach can literally feel kicking and I can feel movement it's just the weirdest feeling um yeah it feels really weird because literally everything that is going on in her stomach i can feel on my stomach because she's like lying on me it's the weirdest feeling um but she did start doing some well she's obviously panting right now but um she also started shivering again So hopefully puppies are coming soon, um, but we are just relaxing here. She will obviously have to go back in the whelping box soon because um, in case her water breaks and everything, but um, for right now she's comfy.
And so that's where we're going to stay for a little bit, aren't we, Bubba? We are peeing like crazy. Just little bits each time. Obviously, puppies are on her bladder. Mama. Mickey. She's trying to jump her. So we're going to wrap Maggie's tail now. contracting now oh my god mum mum yeah when she sits down you can feel something should we um you can feel like a head or something hopefully we're close to a puppy <laughs> Wait for her to sit and you can actually feel something now. Just at the back. Wait for her to sit down. God, I tell you to rock hard. I know. Come on, babe. No, no, no. Mama, no, come here. Sit down. Come here, mama. What? Wait for her to sit down. Wait. Oh. Good girl. Yeah, now. See if you can feel. No, no, I don't want to keep it. I feel like I can't okay. help her. Yeah. Just gotta tell her it's all right. It's all right, Mama. It's all right, Mama. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Let's try and look on her. Good girl. Good pushing, Mama. <laughs> she keeps looking back at her. I like that. What the hell is that pain? Like, what, what is, is that, that pain? What, what is that? that? <laughs> Fifteen, no puppies yet, but I think we're close. Is there water? Oh, no, water it's the break. She went in. Oh no, maybe she. I don't know. Do you think there's there water? I don't know. I thought it was bolt. Mm -hmm. It's clear. Yeah. Maybe it was her water. I wonder whether that was where all that was. Nah, that was pee. Because this is actually... <laughs> Your bulldozing. jump on here I was just editing this video and I realized that in the 
anxiety of everything. We didn't actually jump on and explain this, but basically Maggie had been contracting for an hour. We read everywhere online that within, once they start contracting, you should see a pup delivered within an hour. And we got to the hour mark. We were getting worried because we hadn't seen anything yet. Um, and so we were on, to, on the phone to the vets and we, we would, we called a few different vets, um, to see different opinions, what they thought. Our local vet said that as long as she's still progressing, it should be fine. It might be a little bit slower than normal, but as long as there's still signs of progression, um, it should be fine. We also spoke to a vet an hour and a half away from here in, um, Kensington and they said that, um, you know, you can, con that she can be contracting for up to two hours, completely fine. That's, that's not a worry. Um, and then they called us back and they were like, look, because you're so far away, we think you should jump in the car and, um, you should start driving down here just in case, cause we don't want you to wait the two hours and then, um, and then come down. Cause then it'll be three and a half hours. And me and mum spoke and we just thought, you know what, we've got our local vet here. We don't really want to move her, especially because she is contracting. And like our local vet said, she, there are still signs of progression. So we thought we'll let her keep going. If she needs an emergency C-section, the vet is literally two minutes down the road here in um, our town. So we thought if anything starts to you know worry us that we think she needs to go in for an emergency C-section, then we can literally just go down the road and everything will be fine. So we just kept letting her do her thing. Um, so yeah, keep watching. Just so I would add that in because uh, yeah, we were so stressed in that moment. We forgot to film that and show you guys us talking to the vet and everything like that. So keep watching and see what happens.
I'll do it. 503, first puppy's born. Go, mama, go. Oh, that's, is that all the, I don't think it's all the way out. She, she needs one more push. She needs one more push, mum. One more push. She's not out all the way yet. Good girl, mama. It's okay. Wait for it to come all the way up. Oh my god, I can't break it. Oh my god, he's moving. <laughs> oh my god, mum. Oh my god. Oh my Here, god. Meg. Maggie, lick your baby girl. Go on, boy. Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Oh, come on, Maggie. you got to break it. It's not off its face, mum. It's yeah, still I'm you trying need to, to break get it the out. sack. I'm, I've broke the sack. I'm trying to get it off. It's slippery. Quick, quick. Get this. Wait, let me just get a video of it. Oh, I've got to clamp the cord. Quick. Okay, clamp. How far? No, go. That's fine. That's fine. Just now. Let me cut. see the baby. Mum, you need to dry it more. Yeah, I'm gonna give He's me a not sec. Not He's not moving. Good get, girl, Mag. Good, Good girl, Mag. He'll be moving. Lick him. He'll be moving. Let's get him moving. Come on, baby. Oh, that's it. Good boy, girl. I'm not sure what you are yet. Hang on, let me get the. There he is, Mag. Maggie, lick your baby. Lick your baby, girl. Oh my God, his nostrils are so small. I can't. It's a girl. Oh, is it a girl? First baby is a girl. Five or three. We've got our first baby. Okay, let's take the placenta. Good yeah. girl, Maggie. You lick her. <laughs> oh, why is it green? Put that over there because it's. <laughs> Good girl, Maggie. Oh, lick your baby. Oh, darling. Look at your get, baby! I'll go and get Nan. See if you can get her on. Get him on. Get her on. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. I'm not going to want to give baby. those up. Look at Maggie, you did Here's so on. well. Yeah, No, no, baby. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Oh, she's licking it. Here, baby. Here, baby. I'm so proud of her. Oh, Baba. Oh my god, Mad. These oh. are beautiful. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. How do you get it to suck on? <laughs> you got to kind of squeeze the teeth into its mouth. Oh, Here mom, I think it's going to be a black and orange one. Here. You got a good girl, Oh, my Maggie. God, it doesn't know what it wants to do. Lick your baby, darling. Here, darling. Oh, my God, I can't get in there. Five sixteen, and we have baby puppy number two in the birth canal. Good girl, Maga. Oh my god, that was much quicker. Two. What color are we gonna make this? Oh, oh, oh. Here it comes. Good girl, Mag. What color, Angela? We have your Mr. George. Mr. George. Mr. George is sucking. Paper Zeta. Puppy number three is in the birth canal. It's 522. Two over here. It's all right, Maga. Look at what you made. Is there one in there? No, she's gonna have to have a bath tomorrow. Look at what you made, honey. You did so well. Okay, false alarm. Puppy number three isn't in the birth canal, but <laughs> Mr. George. And our little girl are uh, just trying to find the teats. <laughs> well, you're not fixing it very well. A little girl's first feed. That's it. Mr. George is having his first feed. Oh, he's got the neck. Once he gets the oh, neck, we're right. Oh, look, she's licking him. And then we'll put... 
We'll put little, little girl mag. We'll put little fatty on. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got two babies feeding. Oh my god, there's such different colorings. I oh know. Can't believe that. She's got little bits of tan on her. Yeah, she, on her feet. And under her bum here. And her, oh my god, her eyebrows are going to be tan. Look, she's got yeah, little. I can see it. Number three, we are contracting starting at 5.47 a.m. <laughs> I've only been up all night. <laughs> Good girl, Mama. Listen to him looking over there. Good girl, Mama. You got your clamp, your hand starts. Good girl, Mama. I can't believe I'm scratching my face, but I just. <laughs> Look at Mama looking at it. Oh my god, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Are they your babies, Maggie? You did such a beautiful job, well, Maggie. Finished yet? Look, she doesn't even care about the third baby now. Like, giving birth to the third is nothing. Oh, Mag, that is the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. She's like, she's so in love with what she's created. She's exhausted. Baby number three, right on time, 6.03. Oh, it's another brown Oh, one. it's an it's more orange though. Yeah, I think so. Can we see him, Mag? Where is he? Hang oh, on, Mag. Mag, let me have a look, darling. Here, Mag. Let's have a look. Hold on, we just got to get him out, sweetheart. Hold on. Hold on, Maga, hold on. It's like tiger shots. Hold on, honey. Hold on, you can look in a sec. Hold on, hold on. Do you want her to lick or not Yeah, yet? let her lick. Hang on, Mag, just let me have a look, Maggie. Maggie, let me have a look. Hang on, I've got to clamp the... Just waiting for puppies four and five. Having a feed while we wait. I still reckon Sassy probably would have had hers all right. Mm. That's the first the splash is not the first. <laughs> Baby number four coming out now. Starting to come out 7.53. Time will number four be born. Girl, push it out. Come on, babe. Good girl. Nearly there. Oh, it's just busted. Oh, did it? Yeah, I think so. Stand up, Bubba. Stand up. No, you're stand up. Stand right, can you? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh God, he's not out. Stand up. Come on, bub. Push him out, babe. You can't have him. Yes. Oh, it's a little black one. Quick, where's my claw? Oh. Do you want her to help or not? Um, wait, I'll just see how far it is. 7.59 before he's born. He's not quite out yet, so just give him a minute. So it'll be eight o'clock? Yeah. Well, he's out, but he's not out. Good girl. Good girl, my girl. Hold on, honey. Oh, give me me thing. Oh, it's an baby clock. number five, just born at eight twenty-seven a.m. So I just went and had a sleep um, for two hours while 
Mum looked after puppies. Maggie is doing so well. She's, they're all feeding. We've settled, um, got <laughs> got everyone, got everyone going, got everyone feeding, and got Maggie fed and all of that. So thought I'd just jump on and show them all feeding. Um, but I've just had a sleep. Mum's gonna go down now and have lunch while I watch puppies. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Maggie is doing so well. They're all feeding. They're all latching on really, really well. And mum is doing such a good job, aren't you, baby? Oh, she's just doing so well. She's been such a good mama. She keeps licking them. And oh, she's just been such a good mama. Is that your baby? She just called over from the puppy pack to come give her mummy cuddles. Oh my god. So our two little black babies are over here. And these three little apricots are having a little drink. And then we'll pop the little Good girl, mama. Two boys are still hungry, and the girls are over here. They've had enough. But the boys are still hungry. Aren't they, mama? We've got Mr. Blue Collar, Mr. Green Collar, and then our little girls over here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our birth vlog. <laughs> a long one at that. <laughs> We've barely had any sleep and we are so tired, but mum is doing so well. we just got to be there to keep an eye on the puppies because at the moment they're quite small. Um, so we want to make sure that mum doesn't accidentally <laughs> squash them. Or So we're getting no sleep, but she's getting plenty. <laughs> so that's all for this video. Make sure you tune in next Wednesday and make sure you like, subscribe, and press the bell notification. See you later, guys. Bye.